Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's video we will continue our Flutter and Parse series of videos, which are sub-series data objects where we will discuss all the properties and data types that are supported by Parse. Today we'll be talking about pointers. Pointer is a way for you to relate objects between two different classes. So to illustrate that, here I have my to-do Flutter class, I'm going to create another class called to do content and we are going to relate objects from one class to the other. So parse runs mainly on MongoDB inside Backfrap. We do support other databases, but uh, we mainly use MongoDB because of its performance. And MongoDB is a non-SQL database. So as a non-SQL database, you can still achieve regular uh, SQL databases behavior through parse. So you can have relations between objects and query on both. So to illustrate that, here I have my Visual Studio and here I have my to do Flutter uh, code that we used on previous videos. So first I'm going to create another class and save one object. I'm going to call this class to do content. I'm going to declare it as var to do content equals parse object and then pass my class name as a string to the content. And inside this class, I'm going to set a property which will be a string called content. So content as a string and then the value, this is some content. And then I'm going to save this object inside my new class. So I'll wait to do content dot save. So with that new class created and one object saved, I can set this object as a property of my next object. We do that by typing set and then giving the uh, property name that I want, in this case to do content, comma, parse object and then the class name content to the content dot object id equals to the content which is this object up here dot object id with all that i'm going to save it and flutter run choose my simulator here bring my simulator up it will take a couple of seconds to compile There we go. Now, if I go back to my back for app dashboard here and I reload so I can bring the new schemas, including the new class that I just created. Here I have my to do content class. If I click that, here I have my content as a string and this is some content. And notice that I have my object ID here and TZ something. If I go back to my to do flutter class and scroll, here I have my to-do content, with it, which is a pointer to my to-do content class. And here I have my object ID, NTZ something. Now, if you notice, this data type is slightly different from these ones, because this is also a button that links to that one class. So if I want to retrieve detailed information about this to-do content object, I just click here. And right now I'm in the to-do flutter class. If I click here, it will bring me to the to-do content class with that one object selected. So this data is now related and you can query on it on all possible ways of querying inside parse. So you can use it even GraphQL to query those uh, related objects. So I hope you like this video. I hope to see you on the next one of, of this series. See you soon. Bye bye.